I love this stage. It's so simple. It's the first stage you see when you play table turf. Mm. And it's going to immediately mulligan the hand. Don't blame them though, because their hand was pretty bad, but it seems like this hand is not that much better if they're going to just flash with their... That is a very interesting Megalodontia. These are interesting plays coming from Zvox, who is just out for blood with these Titan cards. Just completely leaving his base open. And it's gonna get punished as the Dynamo Roller punches through. Feels barely though. So they're gonna set up, uh, what is it? At uh, what is it? A ball point new vault to actually get the special point on top of, on top. Ooh. Meanwhile, Seabox actually had all sides available for the looks of it. I didn't think they would go right. I thought they were going left, but that reflex just tells me otherwise. Seabox just does not want any combos to be played in this game. Considering, yeah, considering what would happen if you let your opponent combo off, I don't blame them. I'm a, I came from, I, mean, I have a Yu-Gi-Oh background. So if you let your opponent combo off, there's a possibility you don't get to play the game at all. So yeah, I don't blame them in that instance. Well, and it seems to putting out the uh the Octo Bomber on the bottom to get a special point and maybe to get a little combo. Oh, that's a clash and both get special out of it. It seems like uh what is it? And it has a really good opportunity with Little Joe to get to special points. However, they also are considering maybe attacking the um uh Seabox's base. We will see what, what they go. They actually go for the safer play of getting the two special points. But in this situation that Seabox has been so aggressive the entire time, maybe respond with aggression wouldn't mean the call. Indeed. We do actually have a good place for the little judge. You can see it closing in on Zbox's base. Granted, if N goes for that, that grants uh or if Zbox goes for that, that grants N a special. Oh, yeah, no, he is going to go for that. That would have been a hard clash, which would have actually been really exciting. But I definitely understand why that was not the play made. Oh, that's a pretty... Eh, it fits, but it's not granting any of the special Z-Box wants. Understandably so, though, because... Ooh, that's much better. Understandably, though, because Z-Box just was like, no base combos. None. Well, and it's actually going for Ultra Stamp after taking some time. Meanwhile, Seabox is setting up that power climb and getting in, in like two special and 11 points in the board. Here comes the last spot on the field. Perfect space for a little Judd. Wondering if N has anything cooking to be put in there. If he does, it is going to become a clash. If not, that's just going to be a good eight points. That puts Zbox back in the lead with much more special under his belt. Well, meanwhile, and it seems like he's going to special with a small fry to come up with two special points. Ooh. Not bad. It's still not bad. That oh, and they can actually do, barely put down the uh, the ball point flattening at the bottom. However, it's not going to give a special point. Meanwhile, Seabox is going to have six special to attack in the final turn. Unfortunately, and did not get uh, the auto stamp that would be combo to do special points in the middle. So, unfortunately, they will have to pass. At the very least, that does guarantee end will have three special in the final round. But we're looking at a few options from Zvox here that if he can just guarantee one special off of like a 410, he'll be in the point lead. And then he'll be able, and then it's just, can he hold on to that point lead in the final turn? And I think he sees a spot that he's debating and is going to lock into here as that is going to secure 
16 points puts him six points ahead of N. And now it comes down to the specials. Who's got this better special play? And unfortunately Drew lost that 50-50 and saw some frustration spinning that that uh, off the stamp on the last turn. Meanwhile, now they have to use the Zipcaster now and to look up for a good point, point location. That is 15 points, but will be enough versus this. Uh, it will not be because Zbox came across a 22 point triple splashdown. That just fell into Zbox's lap. Oh my lord. That is so unfortunate that Andy just lost that 50 50. They actually were looking for that combo for ages. Like, the whole game felt frustrated for them. Because it was just a constant thing of the pieces are not coming the one the way I want. Because, oh my lord, what a game. You hate to get jack loaded. And it's so hard to play around that. But, like, you gotta figure out a way to make your deck. Like, you wanna, you have to invest in lock into things. There's no way around that. But it's also so good and important to be able to figure out how to make your deck, like, work even when you're not getting all the pieces you desire. Granted, well, we don't have to think that much about this matchup because we're going to be heading to box seats. Double steal EO moments. <laughs> yeah, but they actually put it very differently. And that actually makes Evox have a massive advantage on the middle. Mm hmm Explain to me what what here gives Zvox the massive advantage because of this placement. Well, it's just a matter of they actually ended up cutting off the middle and having control of the middle. Now they have the opportunity to just push in any in whatever direction they want. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, N has to go around in order to do any place whatsoever. Does manage to do so though, but I'm yeah, that is still. What? I imagine that uh, N still has a couple of answers and tools to peek into, or Zvox has some tools to peek into N's base, as we are seeing one of those get set up and ready. Nobody's going to have any base here. Oh, but with the effect of block, N will manage to secure just that little bit of corner. I'm actually... That's really funny. I don't know if that's actually good. I mean, technically, yeah, N has all that base to play with and control, but we also have the problem of uh, if Zvox has a good way to push into that area, that's just special, or that's just base to claim. Poor Zvox yes, stuck with a bitty, itty bitty burst bomb is the only play he can make right now. Give me a moment. Okay. A huge lead being built up for N because of this. Just Z Fox has been stuck with a couple of pretty big cards in his hand that did not want to draw so soon. And he's kind of stuck with them now until he passes, which finally pass away the orb wars. Looking for a couple more options, a few more things to do at this point. This is not a stage you want to pass on. You need that tempo. You need to be able to make those plays and keep playing off of these specials. Like, the, the big thing about box seats is just play after play after play. You filled up the board, and now you're playing special after special after special to get combos off of these pieces that are set up. And Zvox just unfortunately has not been able to do that. Trying to find some kind of play that keeps granting more pressure or more momentum while allowing him to pressure. And I'm not seeing anything from his end. As we have an Octopod come up and steal away a point from the special. Zvox is in such dire straits here. I don't know what this poor guy, this guy can really do to turn things around. This is a 16 point deficit which is pretty sizable in any other stage, but in box seats, 16 points is like 
That's it. You've lost. There's no way out of this situation. Yeah, this is a, a board of all gas, gas, gas. You cannot afford to be passing. Otherwise, you're just going to just spiral into a position that you cannot do anything else. Like, in that situation, just like, N did not care to give um, Z-Box a special point because they just have such a good lead and just keep attacking, attacking, attacking. Yeah. Especially since the Ouroboros, which would have been the best thing for turning things around, was passed earlier. So Z-Box genuinely has no place to make. We do... Actually, no, we've got the Tri-Strainer, which might be a good option. I don't think it fits anywhere worth its salt. Yeah, no, I'm looking at this board state. It doesn't fit anywhere. Uh, there's a spot for the Rapid Blaster that Z-Box has, but, which would be 15 points. But if we are starting to have uh, N doing his own counter pushes and plays, and he has five special of his own, uh, this might be it. This might be curtains for at least game two. Yeah, this seems very often in shot here. We will see what Tibos can do in the second to last turn here. There's a dry stringer. Maybe they found somewhere. Ooh, that is actually not bad space here, but. That is 16 a 16 points. point gap in Brock D. Z Fox trying to get this drone blob blobber out somewhere, and there is nowhere to go. It's too chonking of a card. Oh. Meanwhile, Anne just has an uh, auto trooper in just basically guaranteed the win at this point. Like, I don't think that that is going to do it. Like, even if they find a place to that blob. Yeah, there's nothing that... I mean, especially when they're equal specials and, and has such a huge lead, it, it there's no question that N was going to be able to claim this W with a 14-point lead in box seats. Any any concerns I had at the start where I'm like, oh, maybe uh, Z-Box could do some wild big play in the final few turns to turn things around? No. No, just the entire field is orange or yellow. It, 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 what color is the sunflower? I would call that sunflower. And then there's like the deep <laughs> oranges inside of there. But like that's like a sunflowery yellow, right? It, it's like it's yellow and orange for yellow and orange for the special points, and then blue in light blue for. Or is, or is um, the yellow like a mandarin? It's kind of like a mandarin too. <laughs> It's a really weird question, but we are going to X Max the, gar the Garden as for game three, and N does not have a really good turn one. The Mulligan is does it something better. Started off with the Dynamo against the Captain. Fry is going to quickly charge in. She's got some good space to cover. It's all on N and how and what their end is going to be playing, how end is going to be able to respond or like set up. Cause I mean, Fry is a 17 point card at pretty much anything will trump it. So it's, does end get the read and get the right direction? Or does end try to block off a different section? Or what is end go going to be cooking for this round? And it's going to go for the heavy deco on going to right. We will see if that is actually the correct read or not. Although, for the looks of it, uh, N10 is not fantastic in terms of plays. It set up at least denying some of the points to Fry, but in this situation, it may be oh! a I have to make Oh! Speaking of 3-12, though! Oh, speaking of 3-12, though! Oh my god, that is incredible! That spider store screen without even using as a special disrupts into end space and they have to decide to either play defense on their base or take middle or take right take left. But N just have the entire board sorry, Sinoff has the entire board for themselves. That is really good. He can do whatever he wants here, and he's gonna be stealing away like seven points from the he stole half of the mud mouth. He just stole half of the points there. And has no base. While Z-Box still has, like, everything in his base to control. Oh my god, 
But even if it was a class two, a uh, 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 detriment, putting Joe down at the bottom is incredible. It is an incredible play to the point that and he's considering going for Twin Twelve to break into into Seabox's base, and they're going for it. He needs to go for it at this point, and needs to go for it. Zbox is not thinking that's an option, but N is out of space. Zbox has just ruined everything. So, what do we do? We ruined our opponent's base. The thing is, though, I have a feeling that Zbox is not gonna care. Zbox is none the wiser. Disrupting the opponent. Oh, they ended up setting up the uh, the, the slosher at the bottom and getting some points here. Oh no, and oh no, and is in a situation that I've been so many times using a special but not have follow up, so oh. they cannot attack at the top. Instead, they have to go to the left. Oh, and, and then loses out even a single that, point there. The and now, uh. And has no choice but to use the other uh, 312, key, the other 312 to break into the, into Zbox's base. I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think it's gonna work too well. Zbox has the, such a good card here. They're considering it. I. They need to go for the Nautilus. The Krakon is a good option, but it's just not gonna pay off nearly as well. They're gonna go in with the Nautil. The Krakon actually gets. Does steal some points, but Little Judd has been stolen away. There is still a good Little Judd spot further up, so we've got a backup position. But that Nautilus would have just destroyed that Zipcaster. Yeah, but now there is a big problem for N. N have to use both 312 to actually just gap a chance in this game. So they have to get a finisher with any with a four a 410 or a 411 at this point. They use both of them. So no matter what, unless they're able to fit that force they have in their deck, they haven't drawn yet, they will have to put down the ultra stand, pass a turn, and they're gonna go for the pass turn now. They're considering now. Seabox is just a good advantage here. Well, the interesting thing, you say that concern, but like I'm looking at Zbox's deck. That that splatter screen was Zbox's only 312. Neither player has a 312 left to play in the final turns. We've got lots of special to spare, but like what is Zbox going to bring out here? Looking at the Dynamo needs some kind of combo to grant. What, what kind of combo are we looking at? If we get a good enough play, you could just finish it off with a tent attack. All of Zbox needs is one special to have like a four point play on the final turn, but like if what's his other card i did not see it in time oh there's a perfect spot for the nautilus but you can't reach it because just the way the special blocks are set up actually it would be kind of funny to, to do no there's no genuine way to be able to reach that position as beautiful as it would be that is a pretty strong move uh, i think he's gonna lock into it he does have a four special play as his next turn move but only has three special. Gonna draw the four special card, but you needed one more Z Fox. And has a chance to well, close this out. Well, we will see because now N is looking for that 411 4 play. They have two between the E leader and the uh, Power Clam. And it seems like the Power Clam is looking better. They're also considering force, but it's not gonna be good enough in comparison. Maybe they have a no, like no, I don't think N would actually go for the, the force at all, because even if they didn't they know they had a, a second 12, they cannot make that gamble. They have to play a, one at a 411 here. If N can get eleven points off of this play, he they win. And that, th I mean, the power clouds is just a flat 11 points. I think N wins this. Handedly. Wow, that was a game of X Max the Garden because holy cow.
This was just an incredible game to watch. That was just incredible from both players. That was phenomenal. 